I'm going to write a couple up here too. We've got mangrove. We got seagrass. And then reef. That's how I like to explain the Trinity. So it's like the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost of my world where I live in the Florida Keys. Doesn't mean all ocean life revolves around mangrove, seagrass, and reef. But in the Florida Keys where I live, that's our three main ecosystems. You have to have all three. Just like you have to have the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you can't just have the Father or the Ghost part like it comes as a three pair, right? It's like not like you go buy one shoe, it comes as a pair. So mangroves, what they do is they help stop the storm surges. Now what that means is imagine mangroves are like these little trees. They got little nice little fluffy stuff up here, but the roots, this is the water. So the roots actually stick above the water like this, and go into the water. And a lot of times they'll call these red mangroves walking mangroves because it looks like they're walking across the ocean. But when we get a big storm coming, blowing waves, instead of it hitting a house over here or hitting nature, it hits these mangroves instead and breaks them down. So by making a storm surge, it protects us from the waves. But if you live in a flat, shallow topography like the Florida Keys, shallow water that has no waves, then you get this guy growing, seagrass. Ooh. Now seagrass circulates that water. It collects all the nutrients in the water, it filters the water, it makes everything nice and crystal clear. Now, if it's nice and crystal clear, the reef happens. Now, that reef, as we learned earlier, 25% of the species in the ocean, but that reef is also a storm surge, too, that protects the biggest waves from destroying the mangroves, <laughs> from destroying the seagrass, from destroying the reef, from destroying the mangroves, from destroying the seagrass, from destroying the reef. It's a circle. All things in life and all things in science are circles. The only straight line, I've studied nature most all of my life, the only straight line I've ever seen in nature is in a spider's web, going from one point to the other. But that's only our perception. Because if I were to stand inside of that spider web, I would see that that straight line is also a circle, right? So all things, when we break them down, are circles. So this isn't really a line. This is a circle of our mangroves, our seagrass, and our reef. Not one is more important than the other. You know, this people think, oh, my parrotfish friends that eat the coral, and when they poop at sand, they live out the reef. But they would have never made it to the reef if it wasn't for the mangroves. That's their nursery. So when they're young, the yellowtail snapper, the mangrove snapper, the rainbow parrotfish. They live in the mangroves because it's protected. Those bigger sharks and stuff, they can't get into those tree roots up here. Because these goes down into the, the bottom of the ocean. So all this is like fish habitat. Because they're all gangly and tangled around. So this is where the fish can hide. And then when they get big enough, they can go out to that big coral reef where life is a little bit more dangerous. But if it wasn't for that seagrass, making all of that nice and crystal clear, all of it works. Like a perfect, perfect circle, guys. In ecology, that's what ecology is, is circles. is understanding symbiotic relationships, like the ecology of a goby fish.